Hello everybody and welcome back, this is EDS here bringing you episode 6 of my Pokemon Prismatic Moon Let's Play. Thank you guys for joining me in again today on a wonderful Pokemon adventure. Okay, sorry, out of breath, as usual. I've recorded all these videos in the same day. I want to pop out as many as I can. If I can, st if I can do the whole series in one day, that'd be good. <coughs> mm. Again, no major alterations to the main party as of now. However, what I will be doing is I do need to go to a Pokemon Center of some kind, somewhere, uh, before I take on the Verdant Challenge, because I want to swap out uh, two of my party members. I want to swap out Trumbeak, and I want to swap out Lopany. Because while they're good members, I haven't used them at all. I might swap out Raichu as well for the same reason. So in my PK in my box my box you can see a lot more Pokemon have been PK hexed. So first let's gonna swap out Trumbeak for my Zerua. And we are going to take Lopany out and swap it with my Ryolu. And then I think over here I might have something. No. These are all like leveled to their Oh right. I also managed to catch a Grottle from one of the or a Turtwig rather from one of the charging Pokemon in the grass patch that I w uh, went into at the beginning of the last video, or sometime in the last video. Uh, oh right, I forgot to evolve uh, these two here. Um, outside of that, I don't have a Fire type, and the only Fire type I have access to right now is this little guy. Well, little girl. But I don't really need a Fire type right now. Should I swap out Alolan Raichu? Mm. No, I'll, I'll keep Alolan Raichu, and she's not doing any harm. Oh wait, we got it. We got to touch. Whoops, not that. You got to touch your face again. Okay. Now, once again, as always, we got to activate our XP, Rotom XP thing, and let's head to the space where we need to go to next, which I'm assuming is that little hotel room set up. Uh, to the left, because we can't go past Crabrawler right now for some reason. So I'm guessing we gotta go down to the beach. This is where we're gonna be doing one of my most hated mini games ever. Hey, little cousin, welcome to the Big Wave Beach. You've come to exactly the right place if you're looking for some Mantine surfing. Mantine surf is just what it says on the box. You climb on the back of our Mantine and then you surf. Surfing is the best sport where you can enjoy traveling across the ocean waves. Though youngsters like yourselves who want to get into Mantine Surf have to toughen up and show that they can really handle it first. Surfing is a bit of a dangerous sport, to be fair. Come back when you're as tough as a real kahuna. Me and Mantine will be holding our breath in anticipation until you do. Wait, do Mantine breathe? Can they even hold their breath? What the fuck kind of comment was that? <laughs> that was strange. Okay. You'd better be ready for the Mischief Masters of Team Skull to do some Mantine surfing too! Oh great, it's the twins. Oh, Team Skull, you know you guys can't ride here. What's up with that? We look like kids to you or something? No, the real reason is... Yeah, the real reason is... Every time you try, you keep up those ridiculous dance moves... You keep th up those ridiculous dance moves on even, even on Mantine's back. And then you end up in the water. You want us to stop dancing? That's our identity, yo. It's all we got. Man, forget her, B. We're Team Skull. No one can stop us from acting hard-headed. Somebody please help these dumb skulls away from my fucking bad tide. Alright, alright, alright. <sighs> Hi, guys. What are you looking at, short stuff? Huh? You're that kid. You want to scare out trying to train her? You might, you might have beaten us at Holy Ho City. We'll put your we'll put our heads together and beat you this time. All right, A. I'm guessing you're A. How about you take some lovely hyper voice? Oh, sucker punch. Okay, that's fine. Die. Die. Zerua and Riolu are gonna get some leveling. Oh, look, a Wizmer. I think it'll also die to my angelic voice. Just... Ah! Zerua, Riolu, la la la. Again, Riolu will not evolve because it is currently nighttime in the game. 
Uh, I've got to go. I got to go make someone else miserable to feel better. Let's go mess with Ilma again, B. I'm down with that. Verdant Cavern's pretty close to be, close by anyway. Hey, you. You better listen to what my homie says and drill it into that thick skull of yours. Seriously, you better not forget, numbskull. Nice one, kid. Mantide won't be subjected to those terrible surfing skills thanks to you. You're a decent trainer, just like I'd expect from a trial goer on the island challenge. Why don't you take this from me? Thanks for the water, I guess. I bet you could take on Captain Elma's trial with how well you handled that battle. Even Kahuna Hollow would probably say you're ready to take on all of Alola. If he says that you're ready, come back here and we'll get you the Mantine in no time. We'll get to why I don't like the Mantine surfing in a little bit. But for right now, we have an old man who won't let us cross my path. Who's got a Murkrow I have to murder. Sorry, Savannah. I gotta murder the Murkrow. I must take its life. Using my favorite Pokemon to kill my, gr my, my friend's favorite Pokemon. Well, her favorite Pokemon is technically Honchkrow, but eh. But to Tepedo Potato. Oh, God damn it. Hold on. Wait a minute. I gotta get rid of this battle real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I'm gonna pause right here. Give me just a sec. Sorry about that interruption. My sister called me in the middle of my recordings. Okay, do we have to go here? No. Nothing in there is necessary. Verdant Cavern. It's showing very high numbers. It would. In the heart of this cave lies an item that has an un undeniable connection to the Blinding One. I certainly would like to investigate this place. Shall we go in then? No, it seems that people are not allowed within the Verdant Cave without specific reason. We should ask the President to arrange for some special accommodations on our behalf. We don't have the means to catch a Pokemon on our own, after all. Oh, how I wish I could spoil. Alright, who's this gonna be? Oh, a Stunky. Interesting. Well, it's mine now. Now let me see if I can find a freaking Growlithe here. Growlithe is one of my favorite fire types. Oh, ambushed again. Yep, see, there I told you. Got ambushed by a Turtwig this time again. Well, sad for you, I already have one, so bye. Are you going to get anything better than that? Smeargle again. Is it just the same thing again? I think it's just the same thing again. I got to go to the next route because there's a Pokemon Center. Oh, there's a Growlithe. There we go. I don't care if it's male. It's coming to me and I'm turning it female. You could say that I'm a transgender surgeon for Pokemon. <laughs> I'm sorry if that offends anybody. That's terrible. Anyway, I'm just messing around with their genetics. Nothing more. I'm just making them perfect for my purposes. God, when I say it like that, it makes it sound like something else. Gotta keep it. Ugh. Well, my content's not made for kids anyway. And this channel is not yet monetized, so... Doesn't really matter what I say, I guess. I mean, let's be honest. Everybody knows about Rule 34 at this point. Alright. Nope, I don't want Fury Swipes. And Chikorita. I actually should have switched out, because Ralts can evolve now. I'll switch out on the next one. Purloin. Riolu is the perfect fit for this. And we're going to use Meteor Mash, because I don't think I'll need close combat. Nope. And yes, Meteor Mash can be learned by Riolu in this generation via Egg Move. It can also be learned in Generation 8 via Level Up as a Lucario at Level 1. I think it's also an ev evolution move. I could be wrong on that one, though. But lovely, we have our Curlia. I'm not certain if I'm going to be using Gardevoir for my main team members, because after all, it is a duplicate fairy type. But, I mean, still, being a fairy type, it's still a good Pokemon. But since I'm going to have Primarina, maybe I should switch out Gardevoir for something else. Gardevoir and Primarina are almost identical in stat structure to begin with, so it'll probably just be easier to use somebody else. I mean, Primarina is stronger than Gardevoir. It's it's a tad slower. What do you... Oh, the ro Roto Lotto. I was like, what the fuck are you trying to make me do, jackass? Okay, cool. Nice, I got two Roto Boosts. 
That's cool. It's roto lock. Blah 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 blah. Okay, now let's open your eyes. Okay, good. Now let's continue onward. Wait, do I have to fucking? No, I don't. Okay, good. All right, let's just go to Illumus Trial already. We have to go into this totem cave, and we have to defeat three Pokemon before we're able to take on the totem Pokemon waiting at the end. We are not allowed to capture any Pokemon in this cave until after we have completed the challenge. The cave is a small maze that ends at the little white tunnel at the back end. Let me formally welcome you to the Verdant Cavern. Allow me to explain the basics of my trial. What you should attempt to do... Defeat three of the Pokemon that lurk in their dens. Then reach the pedestal deep within the cave and collect the Z-Crystal there. Oh dear. And there's one more thing I forgot to mention. Many strong Pokemon come to this cave, but one stronger and more fearsome than all the rest known as a Totem Pokemon also resides here. It will be the greatest obstacle you face as you attempt to clear my trial. By the way, until you clear the trial, you will not be able to catch any Pokemon in Verdant Cavern, as I said earlier. This is one of the eight trials you will face during your island challenge. So they're effectively the gyms. These are literally the gyms. It's just the replacements. I kind of like the replacement of the gym, and also that you face the gym, quote-unquote, gym leader before you fight the gym. Because obviously I take out fucking what's-his-face. Wait. Oh, my, my ability reverted because I evolved. I'll have to fix that. Yeah, it went back to synchronize. All right. Well, then here's what we'll do, then. The same thing's gonna happen to, uh... To Zerua as well, as so is as Riolu. So I'll have to revert their abilities to the later general afterwards. Oh, yeah, I've hidden power fighting. That's right. I got rid of Illusion just because I actually like seeing Zerua's, you know, sprite model in the game. I gotta go across this little bridge here. Then we gotta go through this hole here. Go down. Check this. Nothing's there. It'll come up there. Then we gotta go down the hill, go back over, access it here, nothing's there, now it's over there. Then we gotta go over here, go over here, check it again, nothing inside, now it's back there. Now we gotta go back across, and then Team Skull will appear and try to intervene. Your bad Beach Boy's back again, remember us? Sorry, who are you? Oh, I see. Just cause we switch places you can't tell who we are anymore? Who cares about that anyway? We're we're here to mess this trial up, yo. All right, their their yo 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 bullshit is so fucking stupid. Some might find it endearing, some might find it harmless. I find it retarded as hell. And I have I have autism for the record, so don't at me about using the word retarded. It is a technical terminology. I'm using it in an offensive manner, yes, but leave me alone. It's just a word, okay, guys? Don't get fucking offended. I mean, I'm sure that's not going to matter anyway. Somebody's going to get pissed off, but whatever. Luckily, I don't have a huge audience. So I'm not going to, like... It's not like if somebody like Markiplier or something uploaded a video and then they got their shit wrecked. For me, I'm just a single, small YouTuber just uploading videos for fun. I just love talking about video games. I love playing video games. It's my favorite thing in the fucking world to do. Just sit back and have... Also, I don't know if you guys can actually hear this. My controller is in my lap, and I don't know if you can hear that clicking, but that is my controller clicking. Alright, now they are blocking both of the other caves. Let's just grab this. Which means the only place... Whoops. I walked too fast. Ooh. So the only place it can be is right here. Scram! Alolan Roticate. Four times a week to a nice, healthy, fighting-type hidden power. Goodbye. She is eight levels away from evolving into one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. And Riolu is simply one sunrise away from evolving into my second favorite Pokemon of all time. Alright, on to the trial. I'm going to take this crystal, thank you. Wait, no I'm not. Oh my god, it's a big boy! The original Alpha Pokemon! I say that because, like, 
Well, oh, it's defense rose. That's fine. That's fine. What level are you? 16? I'll be able to kill you in a single blow with a hidden power fighting. Oh, wait, you have that berry. God damn it. I forgot about that berry. Can we just agree that Alolan Raticate is one of the ugliest Pokemon that was introduced in, in the Alola region? And yet Alolan Rattata is absolutely adorable. Like, why is Alolan Raticate so fucking fat and ugly looking? It's just, it's a bad model. I just don't like the massively overpuffed cheeks and stuff, you know? It's, it's just gross looking. So hidden power on this bitch, and we're done. Zerua doesn't have a lot of ability to handle other Dark-type Pokémon, which is why I gave it Hidden Power Fighting. Not to mention, Steel-types can be an issue if you're a Zerua, but when it evolves into, into Zoroark and it gets Flamethrower, it's not so bad. Still a pain in the ass, though. But now I have the, do the Normalium Z. Just for the record, I will pretty much not be using any real Z-moves in this game. I don't see a point to it, because they don't have any special effects like the Max moves do in Generation 8. They're just overpowered moves, but considering I already have, I'm already going to be using PK Hex and all this other stuff, and the trainer battles aren't going to be that difficult, nor will the totem battles, I don't really see any fucking purpose in uh, actually doing that. Oh, so he claimed the light of the Z-Crystal as his own with the aid of his Pokemon. The people of Alola overcome these trials willingly to obtain this mysterious power, to gain access to Z-Power, is that it? Depending on no depending on no one and nothing but yourself, that is a fine aspiration. Quite different from our tendency to use our technology to solve all of our power, our problems. It is a pleasure to meet you. My name is Soliera. And I am FICO. Like a credit score. <laughs> and I keep twirling my mustache because it's weird and purple. I believe we are ex ex are expected to greet you within an Alola, is that right? We are investigating the Z-Crystals we found here in Alola for our own particular reason. And I also find those Pokeballs that you used to be most intriguing. Perhaps we will find the reason to work together sometime in the future. Perhaps. Or perhaps not. And now we have Wild Pokemon! Alolan Diglett. You, however, are a male, so therefore you must die. I know that Dark Aura is technically an exclusive ability to, Zel to Eveltal, so I will change it to something else after I evolve Zoroark. Maybe Super Luck, I don't know. Something different. We got Little Alolan Rattata. I call it Rattata, not Rattata. I've always called it Rattata, because I think about it like Rattata rap, like the sound of like, like, like you know, like a Rattata on a drum or something. I've never considered it, like, anything other than that. It just makes more sense to me that way. Okay, clearly I have already seen you, but I have not caught you yet. And I will not be catching a male. I wish there was a cheat where I could just make sure the Pokemon are always female. That would make my life a lot easier. I think after this, though, I might need to take a break. Play something else. Oh, Teddy Ursa! I didn't realize there'd be a Teddy Ursa here. Fuck it. I'll just catch the mail and just change them later. Maybe I should get a 100% male Pokemon, I put it in the front of my party, and give it fucking cute charm or something. I could also do that with a male Baneri. Cute charm makes the chance of encountering a Pokemon of the opposite gender a 66.7% chance, regardless of the gender ratio of the Pokemon. Which means that Pokemon that have a 75% chance of being male will subsequently have a 67% chance of being female. And Pokemon that have a 50-50 chance will have the same. However, it also means that Pokemon that have a 75% chance of being female will now have a 66.7% chance of being female. It's the only detriment to the combination. And it does work the same way if you have a female Pokemon with Cute Charm. Let's grab this for Brick Break. Very useful move. Stepped on a Pokemon, apparently. Annoy Bat. Yeah, I think I'll take a small break after this. Record some other stuff, maybe. Or stop recording and watch some Jacksepticeye. Ooh, a Drillbur! Oh, okay. 
I didn't know you were going to be in here, but all right. Excadrill is an excellent fucking Pokemon with a massive 135 base attack stat and a very decent 88 speed with some excellent abilities and amazing coverage with great stab moves. It's got one of the most powerful earthquakes of any ground type. All right, let's just do this Roto lot Roto Lotto. Okay, cool. Good. Now let's open your no, not that. Click your eyeball. The Rotom decks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, anyway. <sighs> Greetings, Captain. Okay, stop with that. Okay, I completed your challenge. So remove the barricade so I can continue onward. I love how they're just like wall like like three foot high walls. Oh, Kukui. The person's fucking the professor whose name sounds the most like a fucking bird noise. Okay, cool. You're talking about Z-Crystals. He's going to show us how to use a Z-Move. This is going to be boring, so I'm going to check my fucking phone. And he kills a poor, innocent female Growlithe, a bastard. No, eBay, I didn't forget anything. I really should buy that freaking Game Shark disc with my GameCube, though. I've been eyeing it on my eBay account for a couple of weeks now. Nobody's bought it yet because it's like $167 after fucking, before fucking tax. But I need it because I can't play fucking, I can't play my fucking Metroid Prime or Pokemon XD with cheat codes without it. But I can't find it any cheaper than $150. I found one that was $100, but then it got sold immediately and I never got a chance to use it. Or buy it. The only other ones I keep finding are ones in box that are like $350. But anyway, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you like what you see and you want to see more, please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to get content from me in the future. I will be doing Let's Plays every week, two to three times a week, depending on my mood. But at least two times, no, no matter that. It'll be every Wednesday and Saturday between the hours of 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I don't think I've actually mentioned that in the entire Let's Play so far. But anyway... Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, go ahead and check out my main channel. Link in the description. And until next time, this has been ZDS. Thank you for finding one video at a time. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good night, everybody.